<laughs> All right. Well, uh, welcome everybody. Uh, I'm Laurie Hyvie, CEO and founder of Keystone Click, and your co-host here is Margie Hayworth. Want to give yourself a quick intro? Sure. Hi, I'm Margie Hayworth. I'm the director of accounts and operations here. Um, having a good time. I got. I got. Had a great time getting to know Charlie through the process of the website we're going to talk about today. And so, um, Charlie, we're actually going to have you introduce yourself in just a moment. I mean, everyone knows you're here a little bit, but um, we have a couple um, details to go through uh, that we want to share, and then we're going to go right to you. Does yeah. that make sense? Great. Love it. Awesome. Yeah. All right. I'll give a quick uh, introduction about um, Keystone Click. So we are a strategic digital marketing agency. We help our clients build brand awareness and generate leads online. We do that by conducting extensive research on behalf of our clients to build uh, a strategy that's really focused on helping them achieve their goals. Um, so yeah, move on to the next slide if you don't mind, Margie. Okay. Uh, we're going to talk about the cocktails that we have because that's the, the most important part of the cocktails and case study webinar series. And then we'll get into the juicy stuff with, um, with Charlie and the Milwaukee Admirals and the really cool, awesome, amazing website that we uh, built for them. So um, why don't we, we move into the cocktail, which is the Pink Whitney, which we all, all of us have, hopefully uh, right. anyone on, is watching has something enjoyable in their hands as well. Um, if you are a hockey fan, you would know this is basically the, the hockey drink of choice. And there's a, a couple a hockey podcast out there that gives a lot of reference to the Pink Whitney. So cheers as we continue on. <laughs> All right. Absolutely. Yeah, cheers. absolutely. Um, so uh, at this point, it, that didn't take very long, right? Charlie, now we're ready to introduce you. Um, I'm going to say we'd like to welcome VP of Communications for your Milwaukee Admirals, Charlie Larson, had to put that in there. Um, Charlie, can you start by telling us about the Admirals? Sure, I sure can. First of all, thank you for having me so much. This is awesome. Uh, and especially the cocktails part is even better, right? <laughs> so um, uh, the Milwaukee Admirals are the American Hockey League affiliate of the National Predators. We just celebrated our 50th season two years ago, which seems like last year in Admirals terms, because unfortunately, because of COVID and some of the restrictions, we weren't able to play last season. But uh, we uh, uh, celebrated our 50th season in 2019-2020. We had an awesome team, and then COVID hit, and everything shut down, and we weren't able to play last year. But you see, you can actually see a lot of the fruits of uh, – the Admiral's labor, so to speak, happening in the NHL playoffs right now. Nashville plays in the uh, uh, Stanley Cup playoffs, uh, game six tonight at 8.30. So I should probably be drinking coffee right now instead of Pink Whitney's. <laughs> um, but there's 20 players on that, 19 players and a coach on that team that started in Milwaukee, that came through Milwaukee, that played for us. So the saying, the, 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 the phrase that we like to use is the road to Nashville goes through Milwaukee. And it's really true. The Nashville Predators, our parent uh, club, has, you know, done uh, does an awesome job of developing players and knowing that they need the time in them, at with us in the minor leagues in order to, um, to play in the NHL and to excel in the NHL. Um, and that being said, because we have this relationship with Nashville, where they're the ones that handle the hockey and we don't, uh, we, if we stink really bad, if we're not any good. We don't have any control over it. So we got to do things to make people want to come to games as opposed to saying, well, geez, you know, they're one in 17. Why do we want to go and see them? Luckily, we haven't been one in 17. But even if we were, we got to figure out ways to do to entertain our fans. And um, we do we do promotions. We do ticket specials. We do uh, special appearances, post game concerts, um, many things to uh, engage with our fans and get them down here to Panther arena, because we know hockey is, is awesome to see in person. And we feel like if we can get you down here in person, that we can, uh, that we can get you back. So, but we got to entertain you once you're down here and we do our <laughs> very best to do so. Love it. I love, I love going to Admiral's games. I'm so excited for October 16th. Yeah. Home yes. opener. Again. October 16th. And, you know, last year when our owner, Harris Turr, had said, you know, we're, we're coming back. We are for sure. I'm sure there was plenty of people that thought, yeah, okay, maybe. 
uh, I'll wait and see. I, I, you know, like I'll, I keep, I got my fingers crossed, but it's, uh, so now actually having a date, a firm date where we can say yes, and we might actually play the 15th, but that'd be on the road. Um, October 16th is a home opener at Panther Arena, just announced earlier or last week. And so we're super excited about that uh, to have something tangible in hand toward to work for, towards. It'll be 584 days, not that we're counting since we last <laughs> wow. played a wow. game at Panther Arena. Wow. Great. Well, nice. I know got as an, oh, I'm sorry, Larry. As an office, we're already counting down the days for our field trip to the first game. Yes, so. absolutely. So it is blocked on our calendar. Good. Well, well, let's get into some juicy stuff here. So um, you definitely had a, a, a challenge with your old websites. Can you talk a little bit about that? What were some of the challenges you were facing with your old site? Yeah, so we, uh, uh, we had our old, our, our old website was just, what it was exactly that it was old right <laughs> um we we loved it when it when, when it launched and uh loved a lot of things about it but it just didn't it didn't work um it wasn't up to you know 2020 standards because it was designed in 2010 go figure so we um our old uh, provider was actually, we loved working with them. They were great, but they decided that they didn't want to be in the web hosting business anymore. And that was fine. That's no problem at all. We certainly understood that. So we set out looking for a new uh, provider and, uh, uh, and, and someone who could give us uh, some functionality and ease of use. And, but also like that's eye catching and a site people want to come back to. And that was, you know, that was really the most important thing to us, for us. You know, we're not trying to be, um, you know, the end all, be all. We're not trying to be ESPN.com or NHL.com or anything like that. We're trying to be the place for Admirals fans. And what do Admirals fans want to do when they come to a website? We want to make sure that we are uh, taking care of that. And so that's sort of what our goal was with the, with the new site. Um, and why did you decide to move forward with Keystone Click? Yeah, I, and feel free to interrupt me anytime. I could I'll literally <laughs> talk this entire time. Like, jump we in. We like stop hearing me. you. That's you're, what we're yeah. counting on. <laughs> yeah, it's sort of an it's it's sort of an interesting story, um, and it speaks to uh, you know it speaks to relationships and how important they are. Uh, when this first happened, when we decided when we realized we need to go somewhere else with it, um, I I had known some folks through AHL league meetings and some best practices uh, talks that we've had. And I like some designs and so, okay, we're gonna talk to these people. And then our vice president of ticket sales said, well, I think you should talk to, to Lori Hybe over at Keystone Click. Um, like they've been doing, they do, Lori's obviously, you're, you're very connected in the, in the hockey scene, the adult hockey scene. Um, and she's done, you know, she's brought groups out before. And I think you should really talk to her cause they do cool stuff. And honestly, I only took, I only, we only met with you guys because John recommended it and said, he <laughs> and thanks, John. Um, thank you. Yes. Way to go, John. And I thank John because we came into that first and we, you know, we came to the first meeting and it was like, okay, what do you want? What sites do you like? It was really, as you introduced yourself, it was like, you know, an ex sort of a, you asked us a lot of questions about and really drilled down to specifically what we're getting, what we're looking for. And then, so that was fine. Um, and that was awesome. And then we came back and that's really what it was like, oh my gosh, this is awesome. Like, this is so cool. Um, you guys put together this amazing mock-up that I, I, I had to ask a few times, like, are you sure you can do that with the data that you're given? Uh, because like we hadn't ever seen stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, and, un and unfortunately, a lot of that stuff isn't functional on the website right now, not because of you guys, but because we're not playing. Mm -hmm. um, but, and I looked at the other stuff we're getting, some of it was from cookie cutter websites, which are fine, um, if that's the way you wanna go. Uh, but I honestly didn't really, I never really wanted to go cookie cutter, um, even though you change the skin and blah, blah, blah. It just isn't, it's not yours, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And so, we were so impressed by what you could do. And, and you kept saying, yes, we can do this. Like we know we can. And I was like, holding my cross my fingers a little bit. Like I sure hope so. Uh, and you kept reassuring me, yes, you can. And, and, and it ended up 
ends up working out. So we're so thrilled and uh, with the way it's turned out and can't wait till, you know, October 16th next year, 15th, to be able to show off a bunch of the new features that aren't functioning right now because they don't function uh, because there's no data to go in them. Right. Yeah. Well, you're uh, you're you're jumping my route here, Charlie. I was. I am so sorry, you. Margie. <laughs> no problem. I was going to ask you what your goals for the website were, but I think we've heard some of those already. Um, that it was the, a, an engaging site, one that had features that were special to the admirals. Um, right. Were Were there any other goals that I mean, maybe we haven't touched on here? Ease of navigation was huge. Um, like, don't. Nobody likes a website where you go to it and you're just like, where am I going, right? Don't overwhelm me with options. Mm -hmm. We keep know, simple. yeah, keep it, kiss it, right? Mm -hmm. Keep it simple, stupid. We say that all the time in our office <laughs> and it's so true. Uh, when people come to our website, they want to see the schedule. They want to see the promotions and to a certain extent, they want to see the players, right? And hit them with that, hit them with that information and then hit them with it again. And, um, and so we have to also be able, and obviously the goal of any site, not any site, most sites is to sell. And so we need to also make it easy to, to see how to buy tickets and to buy tickets, um, you know, without getting too much into the weeds, you know, we can't go like exhale from our website. We got to integrate Ticketmaster into it. But again, you guys had some awesome solutions for that. And to make it seem like you're all doing it through our website, um, but you're, uh, uh, but it's actually through Ticketmaster eventually. Well, I would, I thought as you were talking about it, it might make some sense to bring up the site here so that we could see it as we're talking about it. Um, yeah. Because as you were saying, you know, you, people wanted to have an ease of navigation so they could go right to and see immediately what they were working on um, and, or things that they were interested in. Um, and uh, I, I do think it's totally fun to have the team roster there. And this is working from last year. Um, the fun part will be right. there's going to be some really fun things with live game features and things that we'll see October 16th, right? Um, but with right. all the different fun stuff that's on here, what do you think your favorite part of the new website is? Well, it, 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 yeah, it's not on there right now, unfortunately, but it's certainly the live scoring. And uh, uh, right when it comes up, Right underneath nav bar, there's going yep. to be like a live score. Anytime a game mm -hmm. is going on, if you come to our website, it's going to show you uh, what the status of the game is. And that's so with with images of, you know, the admirals and the team that we're playing on there. And that was definitely one of those things where I was like, are you sure you can do that? Because I don't think you can, <laughs> um, but you could. Yeah. And the other really cool uh, and the promotions are going to be awesome. Uh, and the, something that works right now is under the team, like, you, if you go to team and then you click on any one of the individual uh, or like let's go to team and then, and then you go to uh, okay. uh, the roster. Uh, sorry, I, team is a very general sense. And you click on any one of the players, it's gonna take a picture of ours, ours and show it there. In addition to pulling information directly from the AHL's website um, with their stats and their hometown and their headshot and so on and so forth. But it's gonna give, it, it just no other site in the American Hockey League looks like this and has this functionality and this layout. And that is so, that's awesome. That's fantastic. I think this might be one of my favorite pictures because of his missing teeth. Yeah, yeah, he's a hockey player. <laughs> <laughs> it just feels very hockey to me. But um, this was a fun thing to, to have these live player shots in here. Um, you have such wonderful photography for the team and it is great to be able to show some of that off in the website. Yeah, it is. Our team photographer, Scott Paulus, has been taking great pictures for us for many years, and he does an awesome job. And we're always looking for ways to utilize his pictures, because sometimes I feel bad because, like, there's some awesome pictures that he has that we never, like, don't even see the light of day, really. Not because, I mean, just because, they're, how are we going to use this picture or that picture? So it's awesome mm -hmm. to, to be able to have mm -hmm. those. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, as I've, um, the site has been up for a couple months now, and I can just see the number of pictures just increasing on a regular basis. It is just so fun and engaging to see um, these pictures, even if they're from a past season. Oh, I haven't seen that one before. And it comes up and it just reminds me of how fun going to a game is. Yes, 
that's what we want to remind people is how fun Admirals hockey is. Definitely. Yeah, absolutely. Let, let's talk about the fans and the community. Cause obviously that's the, the primary reason for this. And so what kind of feedback have you gotten from the community uh, related to the new website? Yeah. I mean, nothing but positive feedback. Uh, everything that I've heard has been all po- that we've heard has been all positive. Um, ease of use is great. Uh, and the information is there that people want. Uh, yeah, we, w- we want people to spend 30, 40 minutes on our site. Um, of course, who doesn't? Who doesn't want an average time on site like that? Uh, but we know that that's not necessarily the, the, the ultimate goal, right? The ultimate goal for us is to sell tickets. And so let's get people a website that is, is uh, user-friendly and also, you know, gets them the message on where tickets are located and all, and, and all that stuff. And, um, you know, I've said this a few times and I hate to keep beating the drum, but I, I can't wait for the schedule to populate and the promotions to populate and all that stuff. So it's like, you can, we can really sink our teeth into, uh, uh, into the whole site and, and it probably see an increase in, uh, uh, in time on site as well. Oh, for sure. I know I keep checking the schedule. Like, is it there yet? I'm yeah. So eager. yeah, we're probably looking at late June, early July is my sure. guess. We've got, okay. we have five dates out there. Um, but they, we don't, there's nothing, we don't have, we have five dates that only include uh, uh, home games and no opponents or no times. So, oh, so it goes, sure. we'll have one. Well, we have to wait for the AHL to officially publish the feed for it Correct. to actually embed into right. the site. So Correct. The AHL and like we, believe me, they're, the AHL is very sensitive about you follow our lead on a schedule. Don't go off and sure. you know, be uh, uh, you know, publishing your schedule before the AHL does. And this is our job, not yours. So chill, <laughs> basically. Um, but we want to play again. <laughs> exactly. And I should do, though, I do give the AHL credit and they offer uh, these feeds to each individual team. You know, the NHL, Major League uh, Baseball, uh, and plenty of other sports leagues, their, their sites are provided for them. They are cookie cutter. And the AHL realizes that, well, we're not. So we need to provide some tools to make, to ensure a little bit of consistency across the board. Um, but it makes it so much easier that it's automated. Mm-hmm. That we're not going in. I remember when we had to go in and update our schedule. And but sometimes when you're when you've played three games and three nights, and you just want to go home, that you forgot to update a schedule. And believe me, uh, like people people are not afraid to tell you that you screwed up. <laughs> yes. uh, but we'll let you know those kinds of things. It's like if there is a typo on the website, they will find it. So <laughs> yes, absolutely. And I've had plenty of those, unfortunately. <laughs> well, we so, just call them Easter eggs. Go find it. Come on. Yep. <laughs> right. It's a challenge. It's a challenge for people. <laughs> so um, I know we had this amazing experience with Roscoe and, and his page is really important to him. Uh, it, do you know how satisfied he is with the end result there? Well, Roscoe doesn't talk, but no, sorry. <laughs> uh, Roscoe's thrilled. He loves it. He loves when people go to his uh, website and uh, or to his page on the site and uh, request him to come out to community events because that's what he loves doing, especially since there's no games. Uh, he loves uh, interacting with the fans. Uh, and we do, you know, I, I know we, we brainstormed a few ideas about website launch. And I think we'll try and uh, activate on those uh, once we have a schedule and we can do a little bit, there's a little bit more to be had uh, with Roscoe and uh, mm-hmm. and some Roscoe contests and things like that, that were certainly- Sounds fun. Looking forward to that. Uh, absolutely. absolutely. That's, that's Yeah, very exciting. All right. So um, I think we're going to open it up for questions from uh, the audience. If anyone's got a question for Charlie, Margie, or I, definitely throw it in the chat or throw it in the Q&A. Definitely happy to answer any questions yeah. about the Milwaukee Admirals, their website. Don't field anything. any questions about the, ni- about the 2000 uh, Midwest League Baseball All-Star Game from John W. Bitter. He's, if he's in there, he might... Uh... <laughs> It's a long time ago, but uh, we, we had a little bit of fun that uh, that time. Uh, Bitter uh, did want to correct you, though, and let you know that there are six dates out. Six, <laughs> Not that's five. right. We had open nights. <laughs> there are six guaranteed dates. One of them is opening night, 
and five others. There you yes. go. Sure. All right. So, um, what? Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, oh, no, no. So um, we have a, a question. Uh, which of your which is your favorite jersey that the Admirals wear? Because they, they wear a lot. <laughs> We've had a lot. Oh, my gosh. In our 50th season. I, and I, I love history. So I was all in on the 50th season stuff. And we, and we but we wore jerseys from every era um, in, in Admiral's history. Uh, so I don't know if his question is, what is my fa the favorite one we, we sort of wear on a regular basis? But I am going to say, um, like, the blue, the, our blue jersey, the one right there, right there. <laughs> Yeah, that jersey yeah. was before we even wore it for a single game. It was voted the number eleventh best, the eleventh best jersey in hockey history by oh, the Hockey News. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Before we had even worn it, it was it was yeah. It was, and so we have that framed actually in our office in the conference room in our office. Um, so we uh, uh, were very uh, we lo we love I love that jersey. Um, I love the. What I call the Jay Leno jersey is from that we wore from 98 to 2006. Um, but I like that one sort of, uh, it, it's like, it's really classic late 90s, early 2000s, you know, graphic design on it. Um, but I like it not because of that, but because of the uh, success that we had. We won our only, only Calder Cup wearing that jersey. Two years later, we went to the Calder Cup finals. And so there's certainly, there's an emotional attachment that I think I have to that logo. Um, <laughs> and, you know, for people that, who have been fun. marketing for a long time, like the logo slicks that we have, we still have probably 300 of those logo slicks uh, with the PMS colors and everything like that. No, sure. that doesn't, even, those awesome. don't exist anymore. <laughs> We've got another question. David is asking the biggest turtle or the toughest part of the process in getting to the current website. Well, it's just a ton of work. Uh, Margie knows, <laughs> right? Yes, like, I do. <laughs> uh, and it's, it's I, I liken it a little bit to like an exam paper or like writing a huge research paper in college, right? Yes, you should be working all the time, doing a little bit every single day. And we did, but then <laughs> within law, like you get two weeks from launch and it's suddenly like, okay, we really got to bear down and we got to cram. And so it's like, uh, and, and this, this is just, it's unfortunately just the way it is um, where <laughs> the last two weeks are like, okay, Margie, have we talked about this yet? Have we talked about that? Boy, I just saw this. I don't like that. I don't like this. And she's probably thinking like, hey, this has been up here for a long time. Why haven't you done that and this? <laughs> and um but it does but, come down to the details at the end it is the devil right. absolutely the devil's yeah. certainly in the details and we were able to work everything out right and mm -hmm. i also get it like i've done websites for a long time even predating the admirals um so i, I get what is that sometimes something that looks really easy boy, you should be able to do this, no problem. Well, actually, no, you can't do that. It's not like working in Microsoft Word or something like mm -hmm. that where it just shows up, mm -hmm. right? Um, or you can will... do that, but it'll make the rest of the page go wonky. <laughs> yes, it, it, right, exactly. We don't want wonky. Um, but I will say that working in WordPress is a, as a, uh, again, not to get too far into the weeds here, but on a uh, uh, CMS from a CMS perspective, working in WordPress is awesome and it's so powerful. And there's so many things that we could do that we couldn't do in our last one, which was built from scratch specifically for us, which is like, well, that's quite an honor, but uh, WordPress is constantly being updated and there's plugins like a week before launch, I think, and maybe it was even after launch, someone in our office was like, hey, can we use this WordPress plugin to build some tables, some cool tables? It was a free plugin and Margie says, yeah, of course, no problem. So we, it just, it was there all of a sudden, right? And with- <laughs> Right, with, and it was compatible and wasn't gonna mess up anything. That's why yeah. working with a professional helps a little bit. But yes. uh, yeah, but that that's great. I mean, this this leads me to a question that's on here and, and I know the answer because I look at the website all the time. How often do you add new content to the website? I mean, we try and add new, like, well, we try and add new content every single day. Um, and once our season starts, you know, you have to give people a reason to come back 
to the mm -hmm. website, right? If, if the same thing is on the hero image at the front, like people are going to get sick of that. So um, unless it's something that like our home open, the season open for next year that we really want people to see, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. But uh, once the season starts, this, the page updates itself. And sometimes I feel a little bit overwhelmed in that we have so much information that we need to be able to to display it and sort of regurgitate it in a proper way. Uh, and I think that's one of the advantages of our new site and the WordPress platform that you can uh, create, uh, how things are easily manipulated and then deleted um, without it being a big fuss, without me having to send things to you, Margie, and be like, oh, this is really, actually, we need to get this on here, not on the main, but not on the, on the hero part at the top, but like right below that, can you slip that in there? Uh, but now we don't have to because we can do it. Mm -hmm. right? that's, yeah. that's the beauty of a content management system. Yes. And it, it kind of, um, this question I see from Harry. So will you continue to work with Keystone to keep the site always fresh? You're doing some of that yourself, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, certainly it is uh, incumbent upon us to do the bulk of it. Mm -hmm. um, uh, when any, when there's anything, you know, that is really, and not luckily we haven't come to there yet, but we will, especially once we start playing games where it's like, well, this isn't working like how we want it. What's going on, Margie. And then Margie will investigate and we'll get it fixed. Um, but it's really incumbent upon us to keep the site fresh and, uh, engaging for fans to want to come back and to sort of, to get that information. Great. Um, we've got a question from Dawn. Looks like it's more towards us. How many people were on your um, in-house website design team, and how many of the how many are on the Keystone Click team? So, um, our team is eight. We have six full-time members and two part-time team members. Um, website design development uh, is one of our team members, and Margie is uh, director of accounts and make sh make sure that everything gets done when it's supposed to get done the way it's supposed to get done. Um, Professional couple... nudger is my title. Yeah, <laughs> yes. people understand that one. <laughs> and Absolutely. I think Charlie really understands that one. <laughs> yeah. Yes, definitely. He was a recipient of several of those nudges, but that's, he had a great inside team working on his team mm -hmm. as well. Yep. That's yeah, our, possible. yeah, um, Jamie Eber is in our office. She runs our social media and you know, the web, social media combined with the website and some other uh, things really encompasses sort of a digital plat, our digital platform. And so she has to be, she has to be in on the ground floor on the website, like from design and functionality and, and, and content management system. Uh, she has to be involved with that and know what's going on and be able to update it because that's part of her job is to be, is going to be to, uh, to update it. So uh, she was invaluable in the whole process because like you could just can't, you can't expect one person or to, to, to get everything. You have to, you know, you have to make sure that it's uh, that more than one people and uh, uh, Brian Martins, who is our manager of ticket operations, uh, he's done a great job for us as well. And keeping, uh, I made up this term but I like it uh, and I call it graphical integrity that things look on the website, there's consistency across the platform. So mm -hmm. there's not, you're not going to one page and there is type 14 times new Roman font and you know, or, and then the next page is type 12, you know, God forbid comic sans, right? That would never <laughs> fly, right? That's, that's ground for dismissal, but, um, you know, we need to rely on people to, to, to create pages and that they look the same. And certainly there's some opportunity for enhancing uh, words and, and graphics and things like that. But generally speaking, things look the same throughout the website. And so, you know, between Jamie and Brian and myself, we've talked, we talk a lot a bit about that to make sure that we, that everything looks the same and it flows and it's consistent uh, across the whole website. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's really important. Um, Paul's got a, a, a good question here. Um, it says, it looks like the handoff for ticket purchases through Ticketmaster, which we already addressed. And he's wondering, do you still get conversion data 
and things like uh, cart abandonment uh, information? Yeah, we get uh, so much information um, that it's sometimes, you know, analytics ha is like, it's the new, but it's sort of the new buzzword, right? Everyone and Google has been providing analytics for a really long time. Um, but now, but now they're within the last few years, there's really been steps taken towards taking all the data and, 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 and putting it into one system and then spitting it out like card ab abandonment, right? Like if someone put tickets in there, we need to be, to, and, and they don't buy, we need to be getting back in touch with those people. Mm -hmm. uh, and we utilize a, uh, a company, an analytics company um, that Brian, who I mentioned, Brian Martins, he, he works with them core uh, is their, is their name. And they, uh, they take all that information and they, they process it. So it's not just, you know, it's people, it's card abandonment. It is people who are on our website and, re, and then we retarget them. And it is people who buy tickets at the window. Um, it's any information that we can get on somebody. And, you know, it's a little Orwellian. I think we all feel that way sometimes when, you know, <laughs> you know it's like, oh boy, I think I need some toothpaste. And the next thing you know, you're on Amazon and you're getting fed an, an ad for toothpaste, right? Yeah. Like mm -hmm. what's going on here? <laughs> um, but that's really important for marketers like ourselves to be able to take the data we're given and then use it effectively. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, yes, we get the information from Ticketmaster and we try and capitalize it on it as much as we, as we certainly can. Some of that is automated. Some of that's just some of the old gumshoe, like, hey, here's the people that, you know, were, uh, that, uh, that didn't buy tickets from last season, get a hold of them. Sure, yeah, so, cool. Yeah. yeah, it's insane the amount of information that is collected on all of us consumers. <laughs> yeah, it's, and it's insane the amount of information that we freely give, mm -hmm. right? Oh, for sure. We, and so it's not just following our, our footprints, but it's, us telling, you know, social media websites, the information, and then they spit it back at us. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's it for questions. Uh, any other comments you want to share, Charlie, before we wrap it up? I mean, it's just been, it's been an awesome experience. Um, I'm bullish on what you guys have done for us. Uh, I know that I've you know, we've worked with uh, Will in your office to help him get in touch with some of the other teams mm -hmm. in our in the American Hockey League that might benefit from uh, Keystone Click services. And I, I certainly hope that that uh, comes to fruition. Uh, and uh, I, I mean, not to sound like a broken record, but I can't <laughs> wait till October 16th and maybe even a little bit before then so we can show off some of these features that are going to be that are on the website that we are not. Uh, able to uh to to actively use at this point yeah as soon as we get that feed we're in action 100 <laughs> percent. Yeah. so also, excited for that <laughs> i should mention uh season tickets are on sale for the 21 22 season mm -hmm. uh john w bitter uh would get very mad at me if i didn't uh if i didn't mention that so you can reach him by emailing him at jbitter at milwaukeeadmirals.com and go. his wife likes it when you email or call like at seven, eight, nine o'clock at night. That's just really <laughs> That's great. In trouble. That's great. All right, Margie, I know we have like two quick slides to share. We you do. can pull that up. Share and, my screen. And I'm going to oh, say. I, yep, I still have the website up. Give me just one second and I'll have the other side up. Yeah, well, thank you so much, Charlie. We appreciate you. We very much enjoyed working with you. Super excited for October 16th. And you know that Team Keystone Click will be there. Yeah, and Keen Team, I mean, absolutely. And Team Keystone, key, Team Keystone, I've had like three sips of the, uh, this, <laughs> but, that's uh, okay. No, it's, it's, that's not exactly true, but uh, <laughs> we appreciate uh, that Team Keystone Click is also, you know, part of the Admiral's crew uh, supporting us and buying tickets and all that stuff too. Because it's really, Milwaukee is a relationship city. Uh, mm -hmm. and as you guys know, and, uh, so it's, it's awesome that we are, that you guys are, you know, provide that for us and, uh, and we're so excited to team up with you guys. Fantastic. Love it. 
All right, we've got a couple more webinars coming up in our website design and development series. Uh, June 10th is the website content strategy and SEO best practices. You will not want to miss this one. And then on June 24th is our expert panel discussion where myself and three other experts in the website design and development world across the nation will be joining in to dive deep into all of your questions related to website design and development. And last, we've got a quick offer to share. We do. I don't know. I don't know why this won't work for me today. That's, there we that's go. Okay. <laughs> um, if difficulty. you are interested in uh, doing some strategy uh, conversation related to your website, we look at the uh, navigation um, and just high-level audit. And you also get 30 minutes with me. Um, definitely click on that link, keystoneclick.com forward slash website strategy. And um, it'll definitely be worth your while. All right. Thank you so much for joining in. This was great. Feel free to reach out at any time with questions and definitely visit the Milwaukee Admirals website and attend on October 16th. Buy tickets. <laughs> right. Absolutely. All right. I love Have a it. good one. Thank we'll you. See ya. Thanks, ladies. Have a great night. You too. All Bye. right. Bye.